Hello friends, in this video, we will see how to deploy a Spring Boot REST API jar file to the AWS cloud using Amazon ECR and Amazon ECS services. Let's open our GitHub page. So from here, let's download the Book REST API project. I'm showing you this GitHub page. So from here, you can download all the code which I have developed. Okay, so Book REST API project downloaded successfully. Let's import this project to Spring Source IDE. Project imported. Let's run this project. Server started. Let's open the readme md file for sample URLs. Now run the get endpoint. See, it is working and returning six book objects. Now, before deploying the jar file to AWS, we have to create a Docker image. So, for that, we need to add some code in the Docker file. But in this project, we don't have a Docker file. So, first, let's create a Docker file. Inside this file, let's add some basic instructions like the Java version and from where it can find the jar file. What should be the running port number and what should be the command to run the jar file? If you want to know these things in more detail, then please watch my Docker related videos. Now let's open terminal or command prompt. Here, change the directory from current to project. Now, open the POM XML file. Here, first change the packaging from war to jar and add final name so it will create a jar file name like book rest API. A simple name which you want to prefer. So, just give the expected name. Okay, now let's run the maven clean install command. See, build success. And inside target folder, jar file created successfully. Here you can see even we don't have much code in the test file, but still it is following the whole process before creating the jar file just to run the test case properly. So better let's delete the test related code because we don't have any important logic inside the test class. Okay, now run again the maven clean install command. See again build success but this time log is in very few lines. See inside target folder jar file created successfully. Now we have a jar file but we want to convert this jar file into a docker image. So here is our docker which is up and running. Currently no containers are running and we don't have any docker image. Again if you want to learn about the docker then please watch my docker related videos link in the description. Let's see how to create a docker image. So here is the command which can create a docker image and the command is like docker build hyphen t book rest api and dot. See image creation process starts and docker image created successfully. Even here also you can see book rest api image. Now before deploy this image to the cloud better let's run this image and see it's working or not. So simple click on the run button. Give some container name. So if you don't give it will pick some random name. Give the port number like we change the default port from 8080 to 8081. So give that. Okay now click on run. See container started. Click to see the log. Here you can see the project log. And the server started and running on 8081 port number. Let's check again the get endpoint is it still working or not. See still working same as earlier. Even here also you can see in the log. So that means our docker image is working properly. Now let's stop the container and delete the container also. Okay, so container deleted. Now let's see how to deploy this docker image to the AWS cloud. Let's search for the AWS console. So open the first link. Here click on the sign in and sign in using your AWS credentials. You need to create an account then only you'll get your credentials. I have already so I used and I logged in successfully and here is our AWS console dashboard. Okay before going further here is the entire process as we created a docker image. So we have to upload that image to the AWS ECR. ECR is nothing but elastic container registry and then using Amazon ECS. ECS is nothing but elastic container service. We'll deploy that image to the cloud. Okay you can see the dark Direct link of ECR or you can search for the ECR in the search text box. Now let's open the ECR. So here you can see no repositories were found. So first let's create a new repository. 
just give any name like I'm giving book rest API there are many things we can do but for this time just click on create repository repository created inside this repository we can push any number of docker images so to know how then just click on view push commands here you can see four commands are there just copy each and paste it into the command prompt so the first command is for login but to execute this you have to install AWS CLI in your system when you install that AWS CLI then using access and secret key we can configure in your local system and that access and secret key you can easily find out from the Amazon IAM service so that I already did earlier so I'm good to go with the first command so let's execute the first command and see login succeeded now the second command is for the docker image but if you observe we already created so this part we can skip let's copy the third command third command will tag our image so third executed even here you can see the tagged image created so this tagged image will push to the ecr that is what the fourth command will do now let's copy the fourth command and execute see process starts for push and docker tagged image pushed successfully to the amazon ecr now close this pop-up and click on refresh see now one record is showing okay ecr related work is done now open amazon ecs and from the left side there is a link for amazon ecs okay here first we have to create a task definition now click on create new task definitions button here we'll choose launch type as fargate this is the best compatible for the docker image now click on the next step here give some task definition name select a task role now choose task memory and task cpu i'm choosing the lowest one because it's not free it's chargeable so better go with the test configuration now click on add container here we need an image url so copy from ecr and paste it into the image text area give some container name memory limit i am selecting hard limit and giving value like 512 memory limit like allocation memory to tasks given memory unit of an amazon ecs container instance will use when a task is running give the port number like 8081 for this time leave all advanced container configuration parameters blank and click on add okay now click on create so task definitions and CloudWatch log group were created successfully. CloudWatch log group will use later to see the application log. Now go back. See here is the information about the task definitions. Now click on cluster. Click on create a cluster. What is a cluster? So the cluster is a pool of computing resources available to an application. Pool of resources like CPU, memory and networking resources. Here select networking only cluster template. Click on the next step. Give a cluster name. Let's go with the default and click on create. Okay, cluster created. Now click on view cluster. And here inside services, click on create. Select launch type as Fargate. Give some service name. Here we can run any number of tasks, but for this time, I'm just giving only one. Now click on the next step. Here, choose cluster, BPC and subnet. Subnets are multiple, so choose anyone. If you don't want to use these subnets, then you need to create your own BPC, your own subnet based on your regions and all that it depends. But just to make it simple, I'm just going with the default configuration. And for security groups, click on edit. Here, type we need to change from HTTP to all TCP. And you click on save. Click on the next step. Again, click on the next step. And now click on create service all three were created successfully click on view service click on the task link so here you can see deployment is pending let's refresh see now the status is running let's open the cloud watch logs here is the link and here is the public ip now using this only will access the book rest api endpoints here you can see the application log see server started and running on 8081 port obviously localhost would work so let's replace this localhost with the public ip see here is the public ip see api is working fine now let's run find by id see it's working quickly go through all these steps and that's it for this video i hope you learned something from this video We'll meet you soon with another video. Till the time, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't hesitate to perform this activity. Please do that. Thanks for watching this video.